Hey friends, my name is Jim Dancy. Some of you might recognize me from my last video. I work with uh, Ripple Wine Bar on their wine program. And I mentioned in the last video, we're going to start making some videos like this and send them out to you every now and then, where we just kind of introduce you to some new wines and we have a little bit of, bit of fun. We're all, uh, a lot of us are stuck at home in quarantine or self-quarantine and, you know, we want to stay safe and healthy, but we want to keep having fun. Um, and not a better time in the world to try new wines and learn new things than right now. So on that, what we're going to do this round is we're actually going to partner up with Orange Swift, uh, Dave Finney. He is presenting on a live stream. He's presenting a live stream via Instagram on Wednesday, uh, April 22nd at 5 p.m. Pacific time. That's 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky time. So add him, jump on Instagram, add David or Dave Finney, P-H-I-N-N-E-Y, and join us Wednesday and, and watch his live stream, learn all, all, everything about him. I'm going to talk about him tonight. You're going to have to forgive me because obviously I'm not him and I don't know as much about him as he does, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. Um, and if you're watching this video after the 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 live stream, then uh, order the wines that I'm going to present and taste them with us. Come back and turn this video back on and, and uh, join us and taste it with us then. If this is before the live stream, go ahead and order the wines we that we're about to present to you and uh, enjoy the live stream while drinking his wine. During the live stream, he's going to be presenting a couple new wines. Well, one is his newest. One's been out for a little bit. Um, they're not in this market. They're just now entering the market. Um, it's uh, Face Value and Luzine. Uh, Luzine, I think I'm presenting, uh, pronouncing it correctly. It's, a, it's French for the factory. Um, we'll get those soon and we'll make a video for that. But tonight we're going to present uh, Chardonnay and a red blend, a Grenache Syrah, Petite Syrah. The Chardonnay is called Mannequin. The red blend is called Abstract. Um, but a little bit about, uh, well, first a little bit about Ripple. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pairing up these two wines, the Chardonnay, with his four-course meal. So Ripple Wine Bar is doing a special right now. You're not going to find anywhere in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area. It's Thursday through Saturday from 4 until 8 p.m. He's offering a four-course meal for $50. Unbelievable. And we're going to pair it with the Chardonnay and the Abstract uh, Grenache Syrah, Petite Syrah Red Blend. You get the two of them for $75. Both bottles wine for $75. And the first uh, course that you get is you receive a charcuterie and cheese. And you, you then you choose between a poached pear salad and a Caesar salad. Then you choose between beef tenderloin and the chef selection. Uh, f during the time of the filming of this video, the chef selection is a pan seared halibut. And then we're, they're, you're going to finish off with a dessert. I believe it's homemade chocolate chip cookies or a chocolate tort. Um, and of course, with the charcuterie and cheese, the, the Chardonnay is going to go well with that. The abstract is going to go well with that. The red blend is going to go well with the charcuterie and cheese. The, the Chardonnay, the mannequin Chardonnay is going to go great with the Caesar salad, the poached pear salad. Beef tenderloin is going to is going to pair up with that uh, Grenache Syrah Petite Syrah blend um, wonderfully, and then the the pan seared halibut that Chardonnay. This is a rich Chardonnay. It's going to be perfect with that halibut. So those are your options. Just kind of want to let you guys know about that um, and what are what we're doing, how we're having fun with you tonight, or for this for this week. Um, so a little bit about uh, Orrin Swift is and Dave Finney. This man is just kind of brilliant. He's one of my favorite winemakers in the world. You all might already have heard of him. If not, I'll, I'll give you some quick background on him. Um, when he was in college, I think back in 1995, um, a student friend of his invited him out to Italy and he spent a semester studying, studying in Florence where he fell in love with wine. And he came back to the Estates the following semester and immediately uh, switched from, I think he was going into law and he switched to agriculture just on the spot. And uh, it turned out to be the right move. I mean, he's just killed it. He's, he's, he's brilliant in what he does. Um, in 1997, he got his first job. He sent out, he, he, he wanted to get into the wine world. He sent out uh, resumes to 50 different wineries in 1997. He got one response. And for that, posi that the position that it was for was temporary harvester, temporary field harvester. 
Um, and he didn't know what he was really getting into. He showed up to the interview in a suit and tie like this. Um, it, it, when he when he got there, they basically just, from what I understand, they just laughed at him. Um, you know, who wouldn't? It, it was it was it was unbelievable. But he turned out to be hardworking. They hired him, so it worked. It was worth it. Um, not only did, was that the only position he can get, but the only shift that was available was third was night shift. He started at three thirty p.m. and worked until one a.m. Um, just bust and tail, and he loved it. But from what we understand, uh, he realized that if he's going to exert this kind of energy um, into into something that he loves, you know, it's, it's a lot of hard work doing this. But if he's going to do this, he's going to do it for himself. So not even a year later, in 1998, he started up his own winery, Orange Swift Cellars, um, which has blown up. It's just one of the best wineries, well known. It's been a new wave. It's it's. We'll get into the details, but it's literally for some markets, it's just changed the entire wine world in certain markets. Um, brilliant, brilliant stuff. So the first wine that he made after he made Orange Swift was, um, or the most popular wine that he made when he created Orange Swift was a wine that you've probably all heard of, a very good chance. It's called The Prisoner. And it was a wine that was kind of like just getting in the face of the wine world, uh, bumping chest with, with, with all the other wineries. He just wanted to show the world and prove to the wine industry that you could have very cool design, great marketing with a well-balanced, well-put-together bottle of wine. And he did it. Um, killed it. Uh, he, in two, I think he started that prisoner in 2000. I might have these numbers wrong. You're going to watch the video and hear something. Um, so I'm going, off, I'm going off memory. But I believe in 2000, he started prisoner. In 2010, he sold it. And he sold it for a mint. When I say a mint, I mean... A mint and uh, a lot of us when you find yourself in that position would you know maybe go back to Italy go back to Florence and buy some buy a yacht buy some nice property and just relax go you know help people travel around the world but what he did is he reinvested he bought some more land um, he built some more wineries he built some more brands and he just didn't stop man he kicked butt and he's doing all this I mean I think all this he, he, I believe he's still in his 40s. I could be wrong, you'll see him, but he's just a young dude. Um, one of the cool things about it, one of the things that I personally really enjoy about him is after he sold Prisoner um, and he started these new brands, one, the, the next brand that he started was called is called Locations. And we'll try that sometime in the future. It's unbelievable. But what he did is while he was building Locations is he went out to France, Southern France, Languedoc, Languedoc Roussillon region, um, it is Southwest France. It's a region that's, you can find wine there, but it's just not as common. It's kind of overlooked. Um, you know, the best wines out of France, the best wines out of France don't commonly, aren't known to come from there as much. But man, he's killing it. He's smoking it. And the reason I love this is because um, it is a region that's right on the border of Northern Spain, right there where they connect. It's in the mountains. And just right next to it is this little region called Basque Country. And I'm, I'm Romanian. My heritage is Romanian and Basque. And so I just love this. You can go grab, he has a few wines. I think it's called D66 is the vineyards. Um, he might have a wine called by that. I think if you try the locations French, you're going to get juice from this region or there's a good chance. It depends on how he made the wine that year. Um, but just a really interesting guy, you know, and, and he just, he just doesn't stop. You're going to see him in this, in this live stream. He's just going to blow your mind. Wait till you see this guy. And so I was with Matt Hawes, uh, the owner of Ripple Wine Bar, just a couple hours ago and um, just making sure that he received everything. And we discussed about the game plan, what we were going to do. And again, the two wines that we chose are Mannequin Chardonnay and Abstract Red Blend, the Grenache Syrah Petit Syrah. So let's start with the Mannequin Chardonnay. So what we have here is a Chardonnay all out of California. It's 100% Chardonnay. Um, what Dave Finney does is he, he does these two wines completely different, this one and the abstract. On the mannequin, he chooses wines every single year when he's making mannequin, he chooses wines from, uh, select AVAs and vineyards. And I believe a roughly a hundred different vineyards does he go to the source. Um, but every year he blind tastes the, the juice from each region. Always, you know, the same popular, I'm not gonna say names, but very popular, well-respected vineyards. He blind tastes the juice um, and puts together a wine that he thinks best represents the Golden State that, that year. 
Um, and that's what you get. This year, I believe this is, the, the regions that he got this from is Sonoma Coast, Russian River Valley, Atlas Peak, and St. Lucia Highlands. Could be wrong, um, but I'm pretty dang sure that's exactly what it is. Um, so he puts them together, and so that's what's unique about this. With the red blends, he goes for a little bit more consistency. He, he, we'll get into that when we try it. But okay, so let's try the Chardonnay and let's see what he's put together in the glass for us. So right off the bat, it's a big, delicious, bold in your face uh, Chardonnay. Um, you're gonna get, or what I'm getting here is some uh, Meyer lemon, jasmine, a little bit of uh, vanilla cream and some a touch of caramel there, which obviously from the oak, on the palate. I've been looking forward to doing this, this video for this glass of wine. I get to drink this bottle later and now. Very nice, I love that. You get a lot of ripe stone fruit, a lot of melon, lemon again, but it's more like lemon curd. Um, you're getting some toasted almond and the finish is tapering and long and lingering. And it finishes off with some coconut. I love this. It's awesome. Um, there's a cool a few things about it is it's 35% new French oak. Can you taste that? Surly for eight months. Um, just a beautiful, wonderful wine. Really cool. I usually don't, I don't want to talk about, um, I like a wine that has a lower percent of, percentage of alcohol. I can just have a couple more and last. It's just me. This has 15% alcohol. The red blend we're going to try is 15.1% alcohol. But the reason I bring it up, why it's so cool, is that you just don't taste that. It's not, it's not overwhelming. When you taste a big, bold, uh, in your mouth, high alcohol or, or larger alcohol wine, um, over fourteen percent, over thirteen and a half percent, you can often feel it coming, burning down. Uh, you don't get that at all. This is well made. The the red blend is just perfectly balanced. Beautiful, beautiful wine. So, like I said, this is going to go great with the halibut. It'll even stand up to the uh, to the beef tenderloin, um, and it's going to go great with the with the with the chocolate. It's going to go good with that Caesar with the charcuterie and cheese. It's just freaking awesome. It's going to be great by itself. Um, okay. Anyway, I don't want to keep praising this all night. Let's try the next wine. So, the next wine we're going to choose that we're going to try is the abstract wine. Like I mentioned, it's a Petit Syrah Grenache Syrah blend. Um, and unlike the Chardonnay that we just had the mannequin, um, well, similar to the mannequin, he goes to many different vineyards uh, to get the juice for this. With the mannequin, he tries, he tries, he blind tastes juice from all over California and chooses what he thinks, not knowing who it is um, or the politics behind it or anything. He chooses what he thinks best represents the the state at the time for Chardonnay. With this, he hit a home run years ago, and he's so now he's shooting for consistency. So he starts with, I believe, two hundred different uh, vineyards. He gets the juice from two hundred vineyards, and he tastes it over uh, a couple months, a marathon run of tastings where he whittles down and cuts out juice from, from, from everywhere until he gets what he thinks is the perfect wine that you've come to love and rely for him to be able to provide to you year after year. Um, the label uh, obviously is abstract, hence the name. Abstract also represents the diverse geography, varietals, terroir that's put into this bottle. Um, but a, a cool little story about the, the, the label. There's 230 different images, different labels that he put together, collaged for this. That sort of represents the 200 vineyards that he gets his juice from, that he whittled down. Um, and then he provided some consistency for you. So just kind of cool. My favorite part about it, it says right in the middle, vandalism is beautiful. Just really neat, you know. Uh, like I said, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's kind of jumping in the world, the wine world's face and saying, look, you can have great design, you can be funky and cool and still have a great, well-balanced, put-together wine, which he does very well. So let's see what's in this bottle by putting it in our glass. So, cheers. Mm. 
So right off the bat, you're getting just a lot of ripe red fruit in this glass. It's strawberries, raspberries, cherries, um, touch of rhubarb. Man, that is fun. That's great. So you get the red fruit again, but you're getting a little bit more of like a roasted charred meat with this as well. Some thyme. Um, just a little bit, a little smoky, and it finishes off with some nice maraschino cherries. Um, but all that, all that thyme and, and roasted uh, meats, it's all wrapped around a, a deep, dark fruit core. Um, but again, I'm getting that maraschino cherry finish again. It's bright, it's deep, it's, it has depth, but it's also bright and alive. It's wonderful. So, great wines, uh, a great man that's putting this to the, together, and a great restaurant that they've partnered with. Kathleen and Matt Haas, just two of the most wonderful people you've ever met in your life. And, you know, obviously you all know them or else you wouldn't be watching this. Um, but, you know, we're, we're all going through some interesting times right now. And uh, a lot of us are having, you know, to stay home a little bit more. But we should still support our families that are out hardworking to make sure that we're enjoying this as much as possible. So... So pick up the phone, place an order for the halibut and the mannequin chardonnay, place an order for the abstract uh, red blend and the, and the beef tenderloin, and let's support each other and let's also have fun doing it. You know, it's all, it all works together. So again, tomorrow, uh, on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Cincinnati Eastern Time, Dave Finney is going to be live streaming on Instagram. Order a couple bottles. Like I mentioned, it's $75 for both of them wonderful deal you are not gonna find that uh in cincinnati northern kentucky and place the order get get a meal with it sit back let's enjoy this let's learn from the man himself i'm sure i said a bunch of stuff that is incorrect i'm i'm doing the best i can off off memory um but i have been drinking his wine for a long time so i'm pretty sure it's it's pretty darn accurate but again i'm gonna put the menu up one more time i'm gonna put up the phone number for ripple Pick up the phone, give us a call. If you have any requests or anything, any questions, just let us know. Matt and Kathleen are here for you. Thanks, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.